क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन इफ एन नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट इन यूनिवर्सल सेट इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट इन ए इज इक्वल टू थर्टी एंड नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट इन बी इज इक्वल टू वॉट ट्वेंटी एट देन फाइंड द ग्रेटेस्ट वैल्यू ऑफ देन फाइंड द ग्रेटेस्ट वैल्यू ऑफ ग्रेटेस्ट वैल्यू ऑफ एन ए यूनियन बी एंड सेकेंड पार्ट इज फाइंड द लीस्ट वैल्यू ऑफ द लीस्ट वैल्यू ऑफ एन ए इंटरसेक्शन बी सो यू नो एवरी सेट इज ए सबसेट ऑफ अ यूनिवर्सल सेट सो आई नो ए यूनियन बी फर्स्ट एंड फॉलोइंग दिस फर्स्ट वन ए यूनियन बी विल बी ए सबसेट ऑफ यूनिवर्सल सेट सो आई कैन से द एन A union B means number of elements in A union B will be always less than equal to n of epsilon because it can't be more than the number of elements in the universal set. That's why n A union B is less than equal to n epsilon. So n A union B is always less than equal to fifty because n of epsilon is given fifty. So this is equation number first. Now part second. What is the least value of n a intersection b? So I know the formula of n a union b. That is what n a plus n b minus n a intersection b. So I can say from this equation of a second. What is the value of n a union b? This one. This I will substitute in this equation of a first. So I will get n a plus n b minus n a intersection b. Is less than equal to fifty. So I can say n a is what thirty. This is twenty eight minus n a intersection b is less than equal to what fifty. So here I can say fifty eight minus n a intersection b is less than equal to what fifty. So this n a intersection b negative will go that side. So it will be what. Fifty eight and this fifty will come this side, so it will be minus fifty is less than equal to n a intersection b. So it is what eight is less than equal to n a intersection b. So what is the maximum value of n a intersection b? It, sorry, what is the least value of n a intersection b? That is what eight. It can't be less than eight. Minimum value should be eight in element of a intersection. Or it can be more, but least value of a intersection B is eight. Now, question number eleven. Now, question number eleven. See, in a group of four hundred people, two fifty can speak Hindi and two hundred can speak English. How many can speak both Hindi and English? But they are not dis uh, discussing that neither of neither students can speak Hindi or English. Means, not a single student is there who can't who can't speak Hindi or English. That's why this is not a universal thing. It is only Hindi speaking union. English is speaking. That is given how much? Four hundred. And n Hindi speaking is how much? That is two fifty. And English is speaking is how much? That is two hundred. Understood now? Why it is not universal set? Because neither of us, neither Hindi speaking nor English speaking is not given. Means not a single student is there who don't know any of that language. So. Neither part is not there. That's why it is H union E. It's not a universal set. It is N H union E. Now they are asking how many can speak both Hindi and English. Means what? Hindi intersection English. That is common. Who can speak Hindi and English both? So I know the formula that N H union E is equal to what? N H plus N of E minus N H intersection E. So I can say. N H union E is what four hundred and H is what two fifty plus two hundred minus N H intersection E. So I know four hundred 
is equal to what? It will be 450 minus n h intersection E. This negative of h intersection E will come this side. So it will be what? Positive of n h intersection E is equal to 450. This 400 will go that side. So it will be 400. So answer is what? 50. So 50 people or 50 students are there who know both Hindi and English. That is the intersection part. So if I draw a Venn diagram, I know this is Hindi speaking, this is English speaking. If I write this one, Hindi speaking, this is English speaking. So N, H, Union, E is total this 400, total this one. It's not from this part because neither a single student is there who don't know these, either of these languages. Either they know this one or either they don't know this one or some know both languages. But not a single student is there who don't know any of the language. That's why it is H, Union, E. It's not N, Epsilon. It's not a universal set. This, this part is what N H total is 250. This total is what 200 and common part is what N H intersection E that is what 50. Now question number 20. Now question number 20. We can see in a class of 60 students, 25 students play cricket and 20 students play tennis. And 10, read, 10, and 10 students play both the games. Find the number of students who play neither of the games. games means, means find the number of students who play neither of the games. So here an epsilon will be what? How many students? 60. What the point? Why I am take, taking this n epsilon is equal to 60? Why it's not n c plus n c cricket playing plus tennis playing is not equal to 60? Because here they are discussing about neither part also. Means some students don't play neither cricket nor tennis. That's why it is not equal to 60 and epsilon is equal to 60. What the point? Okay. So n x line is equal to 60 and tennis playing is how much? How many students are there who play tennis? That are 20 students and cricket playing are 25. And 10 students play both the games. N C intersection T is equal to how much? 10. So find the number of students who play neither of the games. Means what? If either of the games they play, play so it is what? N C union T. Find if they ask, find the number of students who play both the games or either of the games. So you will do C union T. But if they ask, find the number of students who play neither games. So what will you do? N C union T dash so it will work. N of epsilon minus N of C union T. Is it correct? See, this is a Venn diagram. This is cricket playing. This is tennis playing. This is what? Excellent. This is what? C union T. Either of the play games. Some students play either of the games or both the games. Who play neither of the games means what? This part. This part. It is what? N of. This is total what? Excellent. So N of epsilon means N of C union T. So I will get this part. In this part. Number, number of students who play neither of the games. Neither cricket nor tennis. So N C union T whole dash is equal to what? N X line minus N C union T. I know N X line is equal to what? 60 minus N C union T. I, can, I know the formula. N C plus N T minus N C intersection T. And this is close to 60 minus NC. What is NC? It's given 25 plus. This is 20 minus NC intersection T is what? 10. So 60 minus 25. First I will solve this part. 25 plus 20. That is what? 45 minus 10 is what? 35. So 60 minus 35. I can write what? 25. So what is the answer? 25. So 20 for out of the 60 students. Tennis playing students are 20, cricket playing students are 25 and both the games they play. How many number of students who play both the games? 10 and 25 students are there. Out of 60, 25 students are there who play neither cricket nor 
Thanks. Thank you.